Hi guys, welcome back to Coffee's Classroom. I'm Miss Coffee, and today we're gonna do some third grade subtraction. So in third grade, we really start hitting hard on regrouping. So all of the problems today are going to have regrouping. We're gonna talk about a couple different methods uh, for subtraction, because on your test, you get to choose the method you like the most. So I'm going to start with reading my directions find the difference between 8,432 and 5,864. We know this math word difference means to subtract. So if I see this on my test, I know to, in order to find the difference, I need to subtract. The first, first method that we're gonna look at today is their place value chart method. So we're gonna draw a place value chart. So I need to start by doing that. Here's my thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. And now I need to draw my first number, which is 8,432. So in order to draw 8,000, I need eight X's, because X's um, are the symbol for 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this means 8,000. Now I have four hundreds. One, two, three, four. I have three tens. One, two, three, and two ones. One, two. I need to subtract 5,864, but before I can subtract, I have to do all of my regrouping at one time. That saves us time at the end. Um, and so to regroup, I like to do it in a different color. When we are regrouping, we need to ask ourselves, is blank bigger than blank? So we're gonna look at our thousands. Since our second number, this is what we're subtracting, we're asking ourselves, is five smaller than eight? Yes, so I can subtract five from our eight. We can do that. So let's move on to the hundreds. Is four bigger than eight? Yes, so I cannot subtract eight. I do not have eight here to subtract, so I can't cross off eight. So what I'm going to do is regroup. I need to take 1,000 and put it in my hundreds. Well, how many hundreds is 1,000? Sometimes I like to think about it in terms of money. If I have $1,000, that's the same as 10 $100 bills. So 10 hundreds is the same as 1,000. So I can take 1,000 and bring it over here, and this number doesn't change. I will still have 8,432. It'll just be written a little differently. So 1x equals 10 squares because 1,000 is 10 hundreds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, 10. So now I have in total 14 hundreds because I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can't forget about the ones we already had over there. So that tells me I now have 14 hundreds with only seven thousands. So now we look to our next number. Is three bigger than six? No, so we need to regroup again because I can't take six from here. So I'm going to regroup again. I'm going to take a 100, it's like taking a $100 bill and turning it into tens. Well, how many tens is in 100? It's 10 again. 10 tens is the same as 100. If I have $10, 10 $10 bills, it's the same as $100. So now I can draw 10 over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now I have 13 tens. I no longer have 14 hundreds because we got rid of one and brought it over. So now I have 13 in this column. And finally is 2 bigger than 4. It is not, I can't take four from this side. So once again, we have to regroup. So I'm going to take another 10 and bring it over to my ones. Well, it takes 10 ones to make a 10. It takes 
10 one dollar bills to make a 10 so it will take 10 ones to make this 10 so now I need to bring over my 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so now that we have regrouped we can finally start subtracting so let's see in my thousands I had eight now I have seven I need to take away five so I'm just gonna cross them off one two three four five well this one is no longer here so we need to write how many we have left which is two well those two X's mean two thousand because it's in the thousands place so one two three two thousand plus how many hundreds do we have left let's subtract we need to subtract eight so I'm going to cross off eight one two three four five six seven eight so we need to count how many we have left this one is no longer here one two three four five so we have five and it's in the hundreds place so we know that's five hundred plus now we need to subtract in our tens we are taking away six tens so I need to cross off six one two three four five six let's see how many we have left over one two three four five six well if we have six tens that means 60 and finally we need to cross off four ones one two three four so then we count how many we have left one two three four five six seven eight our final answer we need to write all together so 2,000 plus 500 plus 60 plus 8 is 2,568 and that is our answer so this is how we regroup when we're using a place value I like this method because it is very visual you can see all of your numbers right here and you cross them off one at a time the downside to this method is it is a little slow because you have a lot you have to draw and if you do not keep your handwriting neat then this chart will start to get sloppy I tell my kids every day who controls your handwriting you do you need to slow down and make sure you're writing nice and neat that there is enough space in between each symbol so that when you cross off you're only crossing off one at a time and that things are in nice neat rows so that when you count them you can count them easily and when you're drawing your place value chart if you drew this line wonky and crooked then things aren't gonna line up right for you so this method is great for visual learners but you really have to keep your handwriting nice and neat there are other ways to solve the same problem so we're gonna do the same problem again 8432 minus 5864 but we're gonna use a different method this time we're going to use the method um, now I'm totally drawing a blank expanded form sorry <laughs> so many so many math words in my head so we're gonna use expanded form now so I'm gonna write that expanded form so this time I'm going to write my numbers differently I'm gonna start with my first number 8432 I'm going to write that 8000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 2 this is the same number I've just added all my zeros if we added these up you would get 8432 now I need to write my second number 5000 plus 800 plus 60 plus 4 Notice I wrote all my numbers exactly lined up. That's going to help me keep my numbers in order for when I start to do my math, things will make sense. If you start writing things all over the place and they're not lined up right and your handwriting is super sloppy, math gets really tricky. So also notice I wrote all of my numbers first, then my equation line, and then the subtraction sign. Those are always the last thing you write. 
So now we are subtracting. We need to ask ourselves, do I need to regroup anywhere in here? Well, the way we ask is, is your top number bigger than your bottom number? Is eight bigger than five? Yes, so I don't need to regroup. I can do eight minus five. Is four bigger than eight? No, I cannot subtract eight from four. I don't have enough. If I have four fingers, how do I take away eight? I can't do it. So we have to regroup. So in order to regroup, I go to my neighbor and I take a thousand. So I'm going to take 1,000 from 8,000. Well, eight minus one gives us 7,000. I am then going to add it to my 400. So I took away 1,000 and I'm adding it to my 400. Well, 1,000 plus 400 is just 1,400. Cross it off. Then I come over to my tens. Is three bigger than six? No, so I need to regroup again. I can't do this problem. I can't take away six from three. So I come back to my neighbor. It's okay if we have to regroup more than once. I'm going to cross that off and take 100 away because now we're in the hundreds. I'm going to take 100 away. Well, 1,400 minus 100 is 1,300. We only took away 100 because we're in the 100s place value. I'm gonna bring that over and add it to my 30. So 100 plus 30 is 130. Well, then I have to come over to my ones. Is two bigger than four? No, it is not. I can't take four from two, so we have to regroup again. So I go back to my neighbor, this time I'm only taking 10 away because we're in our 10 spot. So 130 minus 10 is 120. And I'm gonna bring that 10 over to my two. Two plus 10 is 12. So now that we have regrouped everything, we can begin to subtract. So we know 12 minus four. One of the methods that I like to use is counting up. So for 12 minus four, I would actually start with four in my head, not on my hands. I'm starting with four in my head and I'm gonna count up to 12 and see how many fingers it takes. So we're gonna start with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Well, this is my answer, eight. I have eight fingers. It took eight numbers to get to 12, so the answer is eight. I need to bring down my plus sign. Well, now we have 120 minus 60. That seems like a lot, but we can actually ignore the zeros and do 12 minus six. Well, we know quickly that those are doubles, so 12 minus six is six. So I bring down my six because 12 minus six is six and we can't forget our zeros, so we just bring it down. If 12 minus six is six, then 120 minus 60 is 60 because sixes are our doubles. Then we need to bring down our plus sign again. Come over here, 1300 minus 800. Well, once again, we're gonna ignore those zeros, which leaves us with 13 minus eight. So again, I like to count up. So I would start with eight in my head and say nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So my answer is five. But it's not just five, 1300 minus 800 is 500. But I just did 13 minus eight to get my five and I bring down my zeros. I need our plus sign again. And now 7,000 minus 5,000 is the same as seven minus two, or seven minus five, which is two. Bring down our zeros. Here is our final answer. We just need to write it out. 2,000 plus 500 plus 60 plus eight is 2,568. We did two different methods, but we got the same answer. 2,568 
2,568. So this is just two different methods to solving the same problem. Now we're actually going to solve it one more time, same math problem, but this time I'm going to use standard algorithm. This is probably what we're used to seeing. This will be the standard algorithm. So in this method, we just drew out all of our numbers. This time we're just going to leave them how they usually are. 8,432 minus 5,800 and 64. This should be a 4. I drew all my numbers. I lined them up. Now I can draw my equation sign and my minus sign. That's always the last thing we draw. So now we need to see if we can subtract by checking for regrouping. Is 8 bigger than 5? Yes, so I don't need to regroup because I can take 5 from 8. Is 4 bigger than 8? No, so we have to regroup again. So I go over to my thousands place and I take a thousand. Here we wrote 7,000 because I had 8,000 here. But this time, I cross out my 8, I just change it to a 7. It is understood that because it's in the thousands place, it is still 7 thousand, but I don't need to write seven thousand. When we do the standard algorithm, you're just writing the one digit. So I took ten hundreds from my thousand. We talked about that up here. Ten one ten one hundred dollar bills is the same as a thousand. So I took ten hundreds from this. I'm going to add them to my four. Well ten plus four is fourteen. Notice we have a 7 here, we have 7,000 here. We have a 14 here, we had 1,400 here. They're the same numbers, we just aren't adding our zeros this time. So it's the same method, we just don't have to write out all of the zeros when we do it in the standard algorithm, but it will get us the same answer. We can, we'll see that at the end. Then I come to my tens. Three is smaller than six, so I need to regroup again because I can't take six from three. So I cross it out, I go to its neighbor, and I need to take 100 from here. That will make it a 13, and that will make my three a 13 as well because we're adding 10 to the three. Well, 10 plus three is 13. And then I come to my ones. I cannot take four from two, so I need to regroup again. Cross off the two. I come to my neighbor. I take 10. That makes this a 12, which is really 12 tens, which is 120. So they match. And I need to add 10 to my ones, which makes this also a 12. So now we can subtract. Well, 12 minus four is eight. We can count that on our fingers if we need to, but we already did that up here. 12 minus 4 was 8. 12 minus 6, we know our doubles. So 12 minus 6 is 6. 13 minus 8 is 5. We did that up here. 13 minus 8 was 500. And then finally, 7 minus 5 is 2. And once again, we got an answer of 2,568, 2,568, 2,568. So no matter what method you use, you're going to get the, the same answer. It's just a matter of choosing the method that's best for you. If you like drawing it out, you can go ahead and use our place value method. If you like seeing all of the zeros and that's helpful to keep things straight, go ahead and use expanded form. But if you like doing it this way, and this still makes sense to you, that you understand 13 is actually 1300s here, then you can certainly do the standard algorithm. 
So I know regrouping seems super confusing, maybe a little complicated, but we are getting it. This is a new skill that we're really refining, so I know you guys can do it. So we're gonna do a couple more problems as practice. So here we have two new problems, and we're just gonna solve them. I'm gonna use the standard algorithm way. If you wanna try them at home using a different method, certainly go ahead and do so. So subtract 777 from 1,111. If I was just immediately going to write this really quick, I might write 777 minus 1,111. But we need to really think about what it's asking us. Subtract 777 from 1,111. So 1,111 actually goes first when I write my equation because I'm going to take this number from this number. So we're gonna write 1,111. And then I'm going to subtract 700 in 77. Notice when I wrote them, I lined up my numbers. I don't have any thousands here. There's no thousands in 777, so there's no thousands here. I wrote my digits, then I write my equation sign and my subtraction symbol. That's always the last thing we write. So now we're going to have to regroup. I don't need to regroup in the thousands because I'm not taking anything away. One minus zero is one. But I can't take seven from one, so we're gonna have to regroup. I cross off my thousand. It's going to become a zero. If I take 1,000 from 1,000, it's nothing. 1,000 minus 1,000 is zero. But I'm going to add it over here. So I'm taking 10 hundreds, which is the same as 1,000, and I'm adding it to my hundreds. So 10 plus 1, 10 hundreds from here plus 100 here is 11 hundreds or 11. So let's see, we need to do that again because I still can't take seven from one, so we're gonna regroup a second time. I'm going to take 100 from here, which makes that 10, and I'm gonna bring it over, which is going to make this number a 10 because this is 10 tens for that 100. Oh, I lied. We can't forget about the one we already had so we added 10 to it, which actually gave us 11, not 10. So this is why it's really important to pay attention to what you're doing so you can catch mistakes like that before you um, finish. And then we need to regroup one more time. So I come back to my 11. I'm taking 10 from it. In this case, it looks like I'm taking a one, but I'm taking 10 away. So it will become a 10 and this will become 11 because I'm adding 10 to it. So now we can subtract. We need to do 11 minus seven. Like I said, I like to count up. If you like to just count backwards from 11, you can do that, but I enjoy counting up. I think it's a little easier, so I start with seven in my head. Eight, nine, 10, 11. So my answer is four. Then I have 10 minus seven, well if 11 minus seven is four, 10 minus seven has to be three. Once again, 10 minus seven is three, and zero minus zero is nothing. So this is my final answer, 334. We're gonna do another one. Find the difference between 6,209 in 3,624, we know that difference means we're subtracting. So I'm going to write 6,209 minus 3,624. So let's look. I can take three from six, so I don't need to regroup. But I cannot take six from two, so I do need to regroup here. So I go to my neighbor and I borrow a thousand. It becomes a five. I add 10 to my two, which makes it a 12. 
And then I go over here to see, I can't take two from zero. So we need to regroup again. I go to my neighbor. I'm gonna add 10. Well, 10 plus zero is 10. And then I go to my neighbor again. I can take four from nine, so I don't need to regroup. So now I can just subtract. Nine minus four. You can use your hands again. If you like counting up, go for it. If you like counting down, go for it. But nine minus four is five. 10 minus two is eight. 11 minus six. Choose the method that you like the best, counting up or down. I like to count up, so I would start with six in my head. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, five. And five minus three is two. So our answer is 2,585. Sometimes we're gonna see problems like this. Subtract six hundreds and 28 ones from 13 hundreds, three tens, and 15 ones. We first have to figure out what are our numbers. So a problem like this requires three math problems. We need to figure out our first number, our second number, and then subtract them. So our first number, we have six hundreds and 28 ones. We add them together to find our first number. Eight plus zero is eight, two plus zero is two, six plus zero is six. Then we need to find our second number. Well, we have 13 hundreds. Three tens, we should know is 30, and 15 ones. So zero plus zero plus five is five. 0 plus 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 0 is 3, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So these are our two numbers. So really this is saying subtract 628 from 1345. Remember, even though this number was written first, it's saying take 628 from this number. So we actually write this number first. So our problem is 1,345 minus 628. And now we subtract. 1 minus 0, I can do that, but we need to completely regroup before we begin. So then we come to our neighbor or into our hundreds, can I take six from three? No, so we need to regroup. I'm going to take a thousand, well, 1,000 minus 1,000 is zero, and I'm going to add 10 hundreds to my hundreds. Well, 10 plus three is 13. I come to my, my next, my 10 spot, four minus two, I can do that, so I don't need to regroup. And I come next door again in my ones, Five minus eight, I cannot do, so I have to go to my neighbor and regroup. Becomes a three. And a 15, because I took 10 tens from here. I mean 10 ones, and I brought them over into the ones. So now, we do 15 minus eight. I like to count up, so we'll start with eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the answer is seven. Three minus two is one. 13 minus six is seven. And zero minus zero is zero. So our answer is 717. Finally, I have given you guys a couple of problems to practice with. You can go ahead and pause this video and see if you can work these out. I am going to silently solve them on here, so go ahead and hit pause. That way you can take a minute, maybe write these down on a piece of paper and try to work them out yourself. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and solve them. The first thing I'm going to do on all of these is regroup all across before I start subtracting.
I actually messed up on here. I started regrouping before I needed to. I can do 6 minus 4, so I didn't need to regroup there. So I scribbled it out because I'm not using pencil. Anytime we do math, we usually should be using pencil so that if this happens, mistakes are okay. We just need to be able to erase them. So I'm actually going to regroup on this one in a different color. I should have started regrouping right here. If you have any questions on how I solved these or how to regroup or anything at all, please feel free to leave me a comment. You can also email me if you're one of my current students and your parents know my email. Um, but if you are just a subscriber who's watching because they really like math or they need help with their own homework, feel free to leave a comment and I will certainly get back with you on any questions that you may have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it's helpful and I hope you have a great night. Thanks for joining me.